universal meaning of staying human. To me, when I always read Stay Human in Vittorio's writings, I took it to mean to not lose your sensitivity, to not become desensitized, because living in Palestine, you see so many horrible things that make you question humanity. And you have to always remember that there is good and people are inherently good and not to let yourself give into that. Don't give into that effort to, to desensitize you. So I don't know if that's a universal meaning, but that's what it, that's what it means to me. Despite yeah. all the ugliness, remember that there is goodness in humanity and remember your own humanity. Hold on to it. Whether we need a new way of expressing dissent. I think there are many ways of expressing dissent and there are different things that different people can do. And the important thing is that we do them together towards one goal or to confront yeah. inherent uh, injustice, things that are wrong. There, For example, there are things that I can do that you can't do or that you can do that I can't do. And so you do what you can and I do what I can in, in order to change things. And there are I think many amazing things being done out there from people on the front line standing in front of soldiers and challenging tanks and bullets and there are people that are writing and then there are people that are producing art all to uh, and of course many many more things all uh, revolving around something something that the the group or the people believe in and right now especially in this day and age where we're seeing people oppressed for decades rising up uh, it's it's a wonderful thing and it's being done by people giving what they have. It doesn't all have to be the same thing. Uh, and that's what makes it so powerful and that's what makes everybody able to, to do something. So you can't say there's nothing that I can do or I don't know how to do it or I can't. Um, there is one little thing that you can do that will make a difference. You know, that's, that's a hard one for me to answer also because in my experience, or my experiences, we've been trying to have people hear a message, specifically with regards to the, to the Palestinians and the oppression that we live under. And sometimes we do something that to us feels very clear, very direct. People have to understand what we're calling for. It's so simple. And some people do understand it. And some people that just don't want to understand will shut it out, will twist your words. And sometimes we'll say some horrible things on top of that. So, and I think with almost everything we do, we find that you have some people writing or contacting us saying they, they feel with us and they believe our message and they're standing with us or they're in solidarity. And then you have some people calling us horrible names and, and accusing us of things that are in no way present in what we're doing or what we're saying or what we aspire to. And, um, you know, that's an unfortunate reality of people that want to keep their minds closed and have a certain mindset and, and that's it and nothing can, can change it. And I think that maybe that's also what uh, Vittorio stay human means. I mean, you see sometimes people like that, you know, like, no, that's, that's not. not. Yeah. Uh, and so you have to remember, you know, again, to, to stay human, maybe not to let anger overtake you, although anger also is very human. But um, so it, it's almost in everything, I think almost, if not indeed everything that, uh, that I've done over the past 10, 11 years, specifically in Palestine, but also in other things. Um, and it's frustrating and it makes you wonder if sometimes you will ever get through to some people. And just as a side note, it's actually one of the reasons we started the International Solidarity Movement, uh, which Vittorio obviously came to volunteer with uh, on more than one occasion. Because we realized that, I mean, Palestinians that were protesting alone, or no matter what Palestinians were saying, there were people saying that it's just the Palestinians that want to throw the Jews into the sea, or Palestinians hate Jews or Arabs and Jews or Israelis. It's, But that wasn't what we were saying. 
we were saying that doesn't matter if you're Arab or Jewish or Christian or Muslim or it is about freedom versus occupation. That's what it is. And we want our freedom. We have nothing against you, but people weren't listening to that. So we thought maybe if people from all over the world would come and stand with us you know, from Italy, France, America, if they came and stood with us and they can tell their media and their friends that they're standing with us here, not because they hate the Jews or want to push them into the sea, but because they are advocating for the freedom of Palestinians, like everyone should have. So maybe internationals could help amplify our voice, our message. Unfortunately, what we found is that the same people that didn't want to listen to the Palestinians and would say, turn their words around and their message around, would did that also uh, to the internationals, vilified them. But the international were able to, I think, reach a certain portion of people that Palestinians alone weren't able to. But again, there's always that, that group that won't listen.